Alright guys, so I am doing Christmas in July. Um, I'm also doing a collab with a few people. Um, I, if I can get their links, I will put them in the description or in a comment below. I also got a recipe from someone to use, so I'm including them in my collab. Um, it's uh, Girl Danielle. Uh, you have seen her before in one of my prior videos in February, I believe. Um, right after the ice storm, I was helping her out, her and her family out with, you know, washing some clothes and stuff like that because they had lost power for weeks. Um, so what we're doing today is I'm making a turkey um, loin because doing a full turkey would just mean the boys, that's just, that's pointless. So I'm going to throw in some butter for some good healthy fats. tablespoon. I'm going to do a little bit of poultry seasoning. Not a lot. I'm not a big fan of poultry seasoning itself. Just kind of coat the top. Uh, this has salt, garlic, oregano, parsley, cayenne pepper, and paprika, but I'm going to be adding my own as well. Pepper. My oven is preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit because I am about to show you how to make a lemon pie, um, courtesy of Danielle. That's the recipe that she gave me, or the idea. So a little bit of onion. Not the biggest fan of a lot of onion on the turkey. Garlic, however, love it. I don't exactly measure every single time. Um, but I do have a recipe for um, poultry seasoning. Uh, if I can find the video, I will link that video as well. Because I tend to do my own recipes when it comes to seasonings, especially when it comes to like uh, Indian foods, Mexican foods, and stuff like that, like things that need multiple seasonings. Uh, I got some smoked paprika. Always good to have on hand. Some Italian seasonings, and this is just a general mix of marjoram, oregano, thyme, rosemary, savory, basil, and sage. Generous. Be very generous with the Italian seasonings. And that should be good. Um, I'm going to put this on low. That's on low, and now we are going to get to this lemon pie. First, we have to make the crust. All right, so we are making a keto crust for a lemon pie. Um, she originally gave me a recipe that had regular sugar and flour and stuff in it, so I'm going to make the keto version. I gave her the keto version recipe um, as an idea to probably try later on. So. To start off with, to do the crust, we need two and a half cups of almond flour. All right, you're gonna need one egg. quarter cup of butter, preferably softened already. No carbs. The saturated fat is only 2.5, which is not terrible. Um, sodium's 90. No protein. Nine fats total. I don't think this is softened enough, so I'm going to melt this. Quarter cup of butter. salt if you want, maybe like a quarter teaspoon. I'm going to do one third cup of ethritol. Ethritol is a sweetener. It's a big sweetener. It's like stronger than most. One third of a cup is going to be very, very sweet. I'm going to add in about a quarter teaspoon of vanilla to give it some good flavor.
my pie crust here and we're going to put it in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 10 to 12 minutes. And I'm going to have to use my phone in order to clock it because my chicken timer uh, has died on me and I have not gotten another one yet. So <laughs> this is going to make my cooking a lot harder for the next few days. Alright guys, I got like two minutes left on the timer, so I'm going to do one cup of water, one cup of monk fruit powdered, um, I have swerve, so basically the same thing. about a tablespoon of lemon zest. I don't have a zester. So I'm just going to use this. And then you're going to do one third cup of lemon juice. is done for now. I should have poked holes in it. I'm going to do three tablespoons of butter. Xanthan gum is a thickener or a thickening agent. You can do about a teaspoon of that, but you need to make sure that your liquid is hot when you do xanthan gum so that it melts completely. Otherwise, it gets chunky and gross. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to separate four yolks from whites. We're gonna set the yolk or the uh, yeah the egg whites aside for the meringue later. All right, this is the point where you add the yolks. We're gonna let that simmer for a few more minutes. All right, so while that is simmering, we're gonna do the meringue that goes on top. So I'm gonna need a cream of tartar and my powdered I'm using sort of. Um, and hopefully it goes well. Stir occasionally, this is thickening up really, really well, but you don't want it to like burn, basically. So, if you have your egg whites, make sure they're room temperature, otherwise they will not whisk. We're going to do a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar.
going to whip it. Whip it good. All right. So I've let this cool down just a little bit. Um, we're going to pour this into the pie crust. put the meringue on top and then you're going to put it in the oven for about 20 more minutes 20 to 25 minutes you got to get the meringue ground at least all right so i have my lemon pie baking for the next 15 minutes i'm going to make my eggnog fudge yep you heard me eggnog fudge so you're going to need eight ounces of cream cheese. Eight ounces of cream cheese. In my case, a sugar substitute. I'm using Swerve. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. do about a quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg. I can't find my quarter teaspoon and I just dump some in there. I'm gonna do half of a half obviously. And eight tablespoons of butter. You can also add rum extract about like a quarter of a teaspoon or so. I do not use rum extract. No, I don't know if you guys have ever had peppermint eggnog. I'm going to do a peppermint extract instead. You don't want to go overboard. You're going to want to mix this really well and then put it in a fudge container. Some parchment paper in the freezer until it's set. And then you're just going to keep it either in the freezer or refrigerator. So the lemon pie should be done. I'm not entirely sure how to check the lemon pie for doneness, but it looks done. What do you guys think? Now it's definitely got to set and harden up. So hopefully that happens. This is the first time I've made it, so what do you guys think? It's gorgeous. Alrighty. So, I don't know if you guys are noticing I'm using my Christmas oven stuff. Hot holders and stuff. That's done. The turkey's done. We're gonna cut the pie. Let me show you what the pie looks like. I know I don't need a super sharp knife, but whatever. did not set the way I wanted it to. Probably needs to sit in the fridge a little bit longer. So we will do that. <laughs> so this is the pie left overnight 
and as you can tell it's definitely firmed up a lot um, I'm going to see if I can pick up a slice oh yeah that's definitely firmed up a lot check that out look how gorgeous that is so um my biggest suggestion is don't eat it right away. We put it in the fridge for maybe an hour before we ate it. Well, less for me, and you saw how runny that was in the beginning. Um, but if you leave it in the fridge overnight, this is what it looks like, and it is absolutely gorgeous. Let me see if I can turn a flash on here. There you go. Look how gorgeous that is. Um, my only complaint is I made this part of the crust a little too thick, so I did not eat this corner part of the crust, but everything else is really good. It is abundantly sweet, so fair warning. I know it's not super fancy or a whole lot of stuff, but there's our Christmas in July plate. And I will show you the fudge when that gets hardened. And Alright, so these are the two recipes. And we are going to try the eggnog, the peppermint eggnog fudge. It's like ice cream. <laughs> it's not exactly a fudge. It's more like ice cream. Uh, it's alright, but they're just kind of falls apart it's not thick like fudge so we're gonna have to rename it it's not a bad recipe but maybe like cheesecake pop or something put a stick in it or something I don't know <laughs> eggnog cheesecake pop <laughs> anyway um, happy Christmas in July and we will catch you guys in another video another time bye